Welcome to another in the continuing series of 4-Minute Fridays by TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I'm a Senior Technical Solutions Consultant here at TPM. Our topic today is going to be creating and using a data link to an Excel spreadsheet from in AutoCAD. So let's go over to AutoCAD. We're now over here in AutoCAD and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Annotate tab of the ribbon. And then in the Tables section we're going to go into Link Data. Now here is where we're going to create the pathing to the file that we're going to link in. So I'm going to create a new Excel data link. Give it a name. Then we're going to have to browse to where that file is. So I'm going to browse to where I put that file. And then the path type, we're going to leave it as full path. Now these link options down here do, do matter. So the first thing, we're going to use select Excel spreadsheet to link from, which is that's the uh, sheet. And then do we want to link the entire sheet or a named region or a region to be named, you know, like A1 to B12 or something like that. So we're just going to do the entire spreadsheet. So that's, that's what this is right now, link entire sheet. And we're going to go OK. And now we have a, a link set up here called test that has a path to the file that we want to link in. Now the actual object that we're going to be using to bring in the Excel spreadsheet is a table. And a table, um, you can paste into AutoCAD into a table as well. But we're going to go about this a little different way with this data link. So we're going to go to the table command. And then instead of starting from an empty table, we're going to click on the dot right here from data link. And then we're going to select the data link. And this will show you any of the defined links you have. We only had that one we just created called test. So I'll select test. And then I'm going to go OK. Now this is not the fastest process in AutoCAD because it's got to go out to that Excel spreadsheet and capture data from that Excel spreadsheet and then bring it in and place it in an AutoCAD table. So it's there we go. Now it's there. So I'll place it. Then I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. So there is the spreadsheet that we pasted in from Excel. Now, I said paste. That's probably not the term I should use. We used a data link to bring it into AutoCAD from Excel. Now, the nice part about a data link is if I go out and I open this spreadsheet in Excel and I make a change to it. Let's say that's going to be wood. And then I save that change. So I'll just go ahead and close it and save it. Back over in AutoCAD I get this message here that says my data link has changed. And what do I want to do? And if I click on this little link right here to update tables using the data link then my table will be updated now just like the original paste took a little while to happen this is not the fastest process in the world either we've got this little horizontal barbershop looking thing going on down here and finally when it stops it's updated and I now have the new information in my AutoCAD table from the Excel spreadsheet. Now there's also a little data link button down here in the bottom right. And if I were to right click on that, I could update multiple data links 
at one time. Well, this has been a brief explanation of using a data link with an Excel spreadsheet in AutoCAD. Hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching another in our continuing series of 4 Minute Fridays from TPM. Look for us at TPM.com or you can subscribe to TPM Solutions channel on YouTube. Once again, thank you for watching.